Queenstown and light welterweight boxer Richie Hadlow rolls with the punches, getting fit and strong ahead of his biggest boxing event of his life. Uh, it's a dream come true for me because uh, I've been training since I was seven years old uh, at a different discipline, but uh, Commonwealth Games and Olympics were always the pinnacle events. Um, so this is one of them, and I'm, I'm proud to be going over representing New Zealand in Australia. The 30-year-old came late to boxing but has risen to be New Zealand's top-ranking male boxer. He's now ranked at number four in the Commonwealth and number 27 in the world. The light welterweight is considered a highly scientific boxer with an aggressive front foot style. He says that style might take him to a pro level someday, but his focus now is on one thing. I'm going going for the medals and uh, I'm going to be myself. I'm going to believe in me and... um, Yeah, I'm happy to have the country behind me. He's also taking the mental preparation side of things seriously. Just focusing on being wherever you are at the time, which sounds super airy-fairy, but uh, it's really important in boxing. If you get dropped or... You start, someone starts getting the better of you, you've got to realise that you're there and you've got to be in the moment and believe in what you've got. Boxing New Zealand high performance manager Harry Otty said in a statement he is confident the squad selected can bring home the medals. All of the athletes have performed well in qualifying events and have excelled at the high performance camps held in Auckland and Colorado Springs. And on Joseph Parker's fight against Anthony Joshua on March 31st. They both have an extensive amateur career. I think AJ's been tested um, at a higher level. Hadlow will join boxers from six other countries in Canberra next month for a 10-day pre-games training camp. Mina Amso, The South Today.